We're here. We're here at uh, John Burroughs Nature Sanctuary in Black Creek Forest, or what is more popularly known as Slab Sides, where we'll do a four mile hike around a pond and encounter two waterfalls. There's the pond up ahead. It's pretty, I did not expect this. stepped on the bird. I thought it was a tennis ball. You can actually go there. I don't intend to because I would rather admire scenery from a distance than be in it. There's the armpit of the peninsula. Peninsula trail. You know what? Let's go for it. I'm just giving you guys a quick tour of the peninsula and then I'm back to the trail. All right, I think we're just about at the tip of the peninsula. Look at that, wires. Don't know what these are, but watch out for those. I don't think you'll get electrocuted or anything, but still. So here we are at the tip of the peninsula on slab sides. All right, let's head back. And we're back on the trail. There's a gate here. I don't know what the history of the place is. All I know is a little bit of history about John Burroughs slab sides, the log cabin that he and his son built. The loop has an appendage one mile north that is an out and back for a total of two miles, at the end of which we should encounter a waterfall. The loop continues to our left and we are going to continue along Chodiki Trail toward the waterfall. So we are at a split, taking the map. So we'll follow the Chodiki Trail to the waterfall. I suppose that means slab sides, the log cabin that John Burroughs built with his son. The trail in its entirety has a 310 foot ascent. I'm not sure whether most of it is bushed up in certain places or whether they're scattered all throughout. Right now I'm not feeling it. Oh. 
Oh boy, oh man. That's the third fallen tree we've encountered so far. Go around. Hear the water now. I wish I could give you a landmark. I guess as soon as you see a clearing to your left, then you hear the waterfall. Now, there are no more signs. Let's check this out first, because this is where the sound is coming from. There it is. Waterfall on Black Creek at Slab Sides. There might be a second drop over there, so I'm heading over there to check it out. Yep. There's another drop. Let's make our way back to the trail and then to slab sides. Let's go around that tree. Shortcut. There's a trail. All right. Red trail markers. Hello. 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 Let's keep going. <laughs> Sorry That's alright. I heard Ricky from a distance, so, so I kind of warned. <laughs> That's when we do the slab sides. We'll go to the top of the pond and make our turn there for slab sides. Okay, I think I'm taking the shortcut now. According to this, I'm not taking a shortcut.
So earlier I went to the Chantique Trail. Looks like a Massa Martin Trail is a shortcut. There, I can see the pond now. Here's where we make the turn for slab sides. the trail now up that way I almost made a wrong turn there which is going the same direction as I'm going but there are these stone steps here that lead you to the trailblazer so a little confusing that turn but even if you make a wrong turn it's not going to be too bad you're in a small area If you come to slab size after a good amount of rainfall, you'll see this. A mini waterfall. This is probably the steepest ascent of the hike. Although, if you do it like what most people do, which is clockwise instead of what I'm doing now, counterclockwise, you'll be climbing down these stairs instead of going up. So it'll probably be easier if you go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So, oh, there's slab sides. Let's check out the slab sides. John Burroughs was an American naturalist and essayist who wrote about his observations on nature back in the 1890s. His essays on nature were published on popular magazines and taught in schools. Being a naturalist, he bought property here because he liked the place. And this is where he and his son, Julian, built this log cabin, which he called Slab Sides. Although he intended to use it for solitude, he ended up entertaining guests all the time. Students from nearby schools, celebrities like Thomas Edison and Henry Ford. He met and associated with John Muir, another naturalist of the time, who was popular for the line, the mountains are calling and I must go. The two of them went on trips together out west. So he was popular back in the day, and his cabin still stands today. So that's as much as I remember from John Burroughs' book, a book written by his granddaughter, Elizabeth Burroughs. All right, time to get back on the trail and look for the second waterfall. done clockwise this is where you'll start off this is where you will park and this is where you start the trail This is one of two main entrances. You will be coming from that direction. I came in through the second entrance. This is the second entrance. Maybe we can start looking for the waterfall. <laughs> 